The fight over the VBS shared bank has taken a new turn when the activist group AFRIFORM filed criminal complaints against Floyd Shivambu, the spokesperson of EFF founder Julius Malima. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. This judicial action accomplishes a crucial goal in the ongoing scandal surrounding the bank burglary that resulted in the death of the victim. The South African Social Liberties Group AFRIFORM, which has been outspoken on a number of official and social concerns, backed up the claim on Thursday. Malima and Shivambu were discovered to have been engaged in the gang's break-in at a small common bank that supplied food to towns and common areas. Wide-ranging investigations and documents involving VBS in illegal transactions bolster the accusations made against the EFF founders, as stated by AFRIFORM. The theft of millions of rand from the bank and the ensuing financial ruin of its supporters were key factors in both its demise and the gathering cases. Ernst Rowitz, head of system and movement at AFRIFORM, has said that there is substantial evidence linking Shivambu and Malima to the VBS scheme, and that the accusations against them are serious. This major breach of trust has to be held accountable, and we need to make sure that it ends. The situation escalated as soon as reports of a nearly 2 billion rand theft at VBS Normal Bank surfaced in 2018. A few prominent lawmakers and persons were mentioned by the South African Save Bank in their poll titled, The Exceptional Bank Heist. Malima and Shivambu have characterized the events as politically motivated assaults in their eager denials of responsibility. The Monetary Political Dissidents, EFF, the third largest philosophical group in South Africa, has assured that AFRIFORM is relentlessly focusing on its leaders in an effort to bring them down. This case may spark more conversation on South African cultural obligations and political pollution. The decision made by AFRIFORM highlights the ongoing need of being trustworthy and prudent in the wake of a highly scrutinized financial crisis in the nation. Once again, allegations have been made that economic freedom fighters, EFF, leader Julius Malima, was aware that a gift from VBS Mutual Bank was a bribe. Malima has denied the accusations. Malima has released a statement in response to the long-term probe into the party's dealings with the now bankrupt bank. In a recent interview, Malima spoke about the controversial R16 million gift made by Chifua Matadzi, the former chairperson of VBS Mutual Bank. Following the revelation of the VBS scam, the European Free Party, EFF, came under fire and faced legal action on charges that it had benefited from money that had been acquired improperly. Malima insists there were no ulterior motives behind the contribution, which was given in a transparent manner. Malima was very explicit in stating that neither he nor the EFF knew that Mr. Matadzi's gift was a bribe. When we first got it, we saw it as a just gift to support our political aspirations and community service programs. The collapse of VBS Mutual Bank, which mostly catered to low-income clients, was brought on by the 2018 discovery that over 2 billion rands had been embezzled from the bank's accounts. Matadzi was one of numerous CEOs implicated in the scam. The outcome was that many individuals lost all they had saved throughout their lifetime. The EFF's connections to the bank, according to critics, should have alerted the party's leadership to the bank's dubious activities. Malima said that the EFF's interactions with VBS were entirely legal. He emphasized that the party had complied with all legal criteria for political donations and that there was no reason to suspect corruption. Numerous individuals and groups contributed financial support to the EFF. According to Malima, the party has always handled financial concerns honestly and responsibly. However, the opposition factions, including the DA, have insisted on an examination of the EFF's funding activities. They note that Malima's claims of ignorance appear implausible given the extent of the scam and the EFF's strong support for VBS. Malima has said that the EFF is not concealing anything and is willing to conduct any form of inquiry in response to these requests. Any investigation that seeks to establish the truth is appreciated. He promoted the values of accountability and justice. The litigation against VBS officials continue, and the EFF remains in the center of the spotlight. It's uncertain whether Malima's assertions will be enough to put a stop to the dispute. The head of the EFF has, for the time being, stuck to his guns, denying any role in the bribe and restating the party's commitment to integrity. Velenkasini Hlabisa, 
the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, has declared an unprecedented campaign of repression against municipalities that are said to be rife with corruption.